Oli Luke here from ScreenPaints.net and this is the second half of our Jessica Jones review. The light half of Jessica Jones ups the ante as Kilgrave becomes much more elaborate and much more brazen in his attempts to try and steal Jessica's affection. Kilgrave is utterly psychotic. He feels absolutely no remorse for any of his actions towards Jessica or towards anyone else that is hurt. Jessica's resolve is not iron but her morality is constantly tested as she pursues ever more extreme ways to try and capture Kilgrave. Unfortunately, in doing so, she often puts herself at risk. Over the course of the show, much more is revealed about our hero and villain, including some startling revelations that drive a wedge between some of the central characters. People close to Jessica are also massively affected, including her best friend, Trish, whose love interest, Will Simpson, appears to be hiding some very dark secrets. The show continues to elaborate on the very dark themes that were set out in the first seven episodes, and it starts to question Kilgrave's nature and actions, including directly addressing themes of rape. Jessica herself is a survivor of Kilgrave, but despite being deeply scarred by him, she feels compelled to face him. Jessica Jones is one of the most interesting and complex shows to come out of Marvel. It forgoes many of the light-hearted tropes often associated with comic book heroism in favour of a deeply character-driven piece. Instead, it's more defined by its willingness to tackle dark or even taboo subject matter. In fact, Jessica herself doesn't fit in the typical hero mould. She's hugely empathetic towards people, but she doesn't parade a set of ideals around as obviously as someone, say, like Captain America. Instead, despite her pessimism and her dry cynicisms, she is defined by her compulsion to help people. She is a hero by default. Lucas Cage also doesn't fit into the typical hero mould. He is super strong and he has um, unbreakable skin, but he doesn't really want to pursue a life of heroism. Instead, he is someone who is deeply mourning the death of his wife and who wants to keep a low profile. The show is great at this kind of complex characterization and the cast complement the story exceptionally well, especially David Tennant as Kilgrave. He is without doubt one of the creepiest and most formidable villains to come out of the Marvel Universe. Unfortunately, the show isn't completely perfect. There are some pacing errors here and there, and some of the plot de uh, devices seem overly elaborate. For example, um, Will Simpson's character, anyone who's read the, char uh, read the comics will know the character, but the way he's inserted into the universe is a little bit contrived. The show also feels as though it could have done with being a few episodes shorter, and uh, David Tennant's uh, character Kilgrave kind of worked better from the shadow, shadows. I, I would have liked to have seen him take a back seat in a few episodes maybe. He's very sort of upfront in every single episode, although he is iconic in the, ro in the role. However, Jessica Jones is a tour de force wrought with complex themes and great performances all around. It is a show that I highly recommend watching. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to leave some comments, you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter as well. Catch you next time guys.